Get ready for a turkey. Scouting. William Hovey Smith, 2024. This is Hovey Smith, the backyard sportsman. And we are getting ready to go turkey hunting. And we have had a very rainy several preceding days. Um, there's water standing in pools in many places on the farm. And the turkeys, of course, were hanging on tight in their trees during the storm. So they have been out moving, no doubt. Our objective today is get all our stuffs ready and pre-positioned as much as possible. I have some large decoys that you will see, and I also have a fold-up stand and others I plan to move around where we see recent turkey sign. Since we know when it last rained, any fresh turkey tracks means, yeah, they're down there somewhere. So, craftsman, which incidentally started with the first touch of the key this morning, is ready to go, and so am I. I'm some 500 yards or so from my house, and that's one of my deer stands. And I've killed many deer and actually a turkey or two in this patch of woods. And this is before I get to my food plot, which you cannot see, but is at the end of this trail. And I'm going to take that stand and put it down closer to where I think the turkeys might be. I had left this stand out since deer season, and although I had rebuilt it prior to the season, this is now rotted. Which is no big deal, it's just merely cutting another piece of plywood, waterproofing it, as I thought I had this, and replacing it. Well, that we will do, but not today, and we'll leave this here for pickup on the way back. This is coming out on our first food plot, and normally I would reposition one of the hard decoys in the tire blind here, but I haven't really seen any turkey sign on this plot yet. Although it looks good, uh, some fresh fertilizer was put on it about two weeks ago, prior to the rains, and yeah, this stuff is taking off well. In this sandy soil at this edge of the plot, the vegetation is typically sparse. This is a favorite spot for a dusting bowl, is right up in here, and I don't see one. So I, again, See no reason to suspect that the turkeys are using this area very much. Here is a feeder that the land manager apparently put feed in this morning. And at the base of it there is scattered corn. And one would think turkeys would be in this, but they haven't hit it today. And that's a better look at the feeder itself. This is a big fellow, and I cannot hunt turkeys over the feeder, <laughs> so uh, consequently uh, we have to be some distance away. So although it would be tempting maybe to put my stand up one of these pine trees, no, we can't do that one. Now we're now starting to see fresh turkey tracks. There, and there. All right. Look smallish, look like hens, but uh, turkeys at least. I wonder where my phone went. Hmm. It's been there since deer season. 
Support this channel by buying my outdoor books, business books, novels, and recommending them to your local libraries. Now, I have things to say about turkey hunting and backyard deer hunting. I also take turkeys with crossbows, as in crossbow hunting, and with muzzle-loading guns of a variety of sorts in extreme muzzle-loading. In the last days of deer season, I had turkeys in this food plot. And there's a fresh turkey track right outside it now. So I'm going to leave one of my decoys in here for future setup. Well, we've got Big George here. And we have its fan and both stakes and all the attachments to put it together. So although that bag has been a little bit rat chewed, I'm going to put it back in its bag to keep it from getting dusty and put it in this blind for future work. Some of the turnips in this plot have bloomed and actually going to seed. Uh, others of which, uh, yeah, when they start putting out seed, they, a tear crop them off right at the top. I have one over there, for example. Chomp, chomp, chomp. The hill slope across the little valley there has frequently been a good place for deer and turkeys. Uh, and I see, my Lee C has found that out too and has put a stand up. The problem with me in turkey hunting is I have a lot of good looking turkey woods that turkeys travel through from time to time. And putting me and them in the same place at the same time is a trick. This gnaw that we're on, uh, yeah, that's not today, but that was day before yesterday, maybe. And they always like this area. It's up on the top of this rise here. It falls off almost in all directions. Hmm. Tempting. This Greenworks chainsaw is ideal for this kind of stuff. Now the road is clear enough that I can get my truck and boat back here without any problems. Well, we have finally found a spot. Turkeys were here today. So right here is where we should pick a spot to set up. Well, we've emptied our cart somewhat. Now on that mechanical decoy, I think I'm going to take it home and try it out first, just to make sure. Well, what did we find out about our mechanical turkey here? Well, we found out there were no batteries in this device. I had, as one should, taken them out. However, when I replace them with new batteries, the machine works just fine. No problem. And the rats got into my turkey fan. But the other side is still intact. Hmm. Okay. We can sort of live with that one too. One more problem. The stake that goes from here to here that actually attaches to the turkey is missing. Hmm. Where, how, when, I have no idea. So we are making a new one. And the epoxy is setting as we speak. And tomorrow morning it should be ready. So we will have it in shape to be deployed and you'll see it tomorrow. 
But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, God bless, and see you next time.